your certified most accurate four zone weather with chief meteorologist Chris Suchan. Some people might be uh, awfully stuffed up mm -hmm. and something's in the air. Today. Yeah, you know, from mountain cedar to oak season and all the other spring allergens are in the air, right? And yep. so today oak is in the heavy category right. and it's bringing a few folks down there. There you can see it officially at 630. You know, right behind it is hackberry in the uh, moderate category. So hang in there. What we need is a little rain in the forecast. And look at that. The pattern ahead into the weekend, those chances are going to be going up. Notice tomorrow it's a 10% chance. That's for morning mist that you may find with a little bit of morning fog in spots. Then it goes up a little bit on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do not see a weekend washout, but you better. I highly encourage it. Have the backup plan just in case you got to take it indoors. That's the kind of weekend we have lining up. We look at the weather impacts ahead. You see fog for the next couple of mornings. A few showers possible Thursday, so that may give us a few wet streets into the area. Friday as well. I also think Friday has enough on the table. We have to watch for the risk of a strong to severe storm. And then the weekend, still talking about the possibility some areas will have wet streets. Saturday, Sunday into really early next week. So right now the pattern pretty quiet in the state. You see the patchy clouds we have overhead. See all this scattered commotion out here through the Rockies to the West Coast. That's tied into an upper low that's approaching the Pacific Coast in the Northwest there. And that is our next weather maker. It's going to drop down big upper low. Watch the pattern here as we move forward. This is a classic spring severe weather setup into the state. When you start thinking about spring showers and thunderstorms, it's to our west. That puts us on the eastern side for a good lift. All these little impulses that eject out ahead of it in the southwesterly flow, they too can create showers and storms. That's Friday, but check this out. That's through the weekend, all right, there's Sunday. It's not moving, it's a closed low, cut off from the steering currents in the mid to upper levels of the flow pattern here. So that means out west, really possibly through a chunk of next week, we could have a daily rain chance in our forecast. So let's break this down. Now here's tomorrow morning, the morning clouds, fog, might be a spot or two of a little mist. Then it turns mostly sunny by later in the afternoon, so we should be able to get into the 80s. Here's Thursday, morning clouds, maybe a sprinkle or two in the morning with some mist and fog. 30% chance of showers. I expect a, uh, a strong lid on the atmosphere, what we call a cap, to be in place. This is typical severe weather season where we watch for this feature. This resists the thunderstorm development here as it's a layer of warm air aloft here, but if the cap weakens, you can get a couple aggressive thunderstorms. That outlook is in place for the Austin area up to uh, Waco and Dallas and to Tyler, Texas. So we'll be unstable, but that cap should keep a lid on things. However, Friday is the fronts coming down in. We're unstable, so we have to watch that for the risk we might get a stronger storm or two in our area. There you can see Friday as the fronts dropping down, especially the hill country. A few of them will spread to the south. There's Saturday with a scattered rain chance through the day. Sunday in the morning and then a little bit of a lower chance late day. So if we play our cards right, opportunity is here for maybe a good seven day stretch where we can get maybe an inch of rain or more in some spots here. This is the official forecast from NOAA, the Weather Prediction Center, and we're going to hold them to it there. Hopefully those numbers will go up. Raul B. Rodriguez, Weather Cam Network. You see we've got the 70s across the area. And as we look at your day tomorrow, here it is. 84 with the early cloudiness into that sunshine for your ride home. Seven day forecast weather alert day Fridays. We'll keep an eye out for a strong to severe storm. 70s over the weekend and then cool next week in the 50s and 60s. Out west, couple of hot days, then cooling with some rain chances for you. Good news here, the hill country. Cool weather, the rain chances through the weekend. And here's our eastern zone extended forecast. Guys, over to you.